Hello everyone and welcome back to another session of Elden Ring PvP and another weapon showcase. Today we're taking a look at the Partisan. This weapon is one that I have been a fan of throughout the many From Software games, and yet they made a slight change on it with this one. It's nothing major, but it does somewhat bother me, and that is the spelling of the name. They made it an S instead of a Z this time around, and every single time I type up a file name for this weapon, I always type it with a Z and it's driving me crazy. That said, let's get started with the basics of this weapon. It's dropped by the knights who wield it, there are a number of them throughout the game, it will take a bit of farming, so good luck. It requires 15 strength and 12 dexterity to wield, and it weighs 6.5 units. The skill on the weapon is Impaling Thrust by default, which is a fine enough skill, but I think that there are better options. Uh, and at plus 25 on a keen upgrade path, it has a physical base damage of 277, an E scaling in strength, and a B scaling in dexterity. Now, as far as this weapon is concerned, this is a weapon that has so much utility for it, not just in PvP, but in PvE as well. Sometimes you don't need a thrusting attack, but you need a slashing attack, and this weapon can accommodate that. And then on top of it, you can always throw on Spectral Lance, and then you can throw a spear at people from a distance. It's very convenient on the PvE side of things because of how many options it really does provide you with. That said, on the PvP side of things, it is a spear, so it's decent. With thrusting attacks the way that they are in this game, this is a good weapon to have. If anything, it's actually harmed by not having more thrusting attacks in PvP. But, overall, I think that the utility of having the uh, wide sweeping slashes is enough to make up for it. That all said, the pros of the weapon would of course be standard spear class pros, good fast attacks, lots of pokes, um, the running R2s are a nice strong thrust, which is always good, and that makes it good at chasing people down. It could be better at chasing people down if it had a faster running attack that also thrusted, but it's not that big of a deal. Other than that though, it does have the unique side of it being the sweeping attacks. Those are great when people are trying to strafe around you. You saw me take advantage of those attacks earlier on in this video. And uh, overall, it's pretty straightforward. It's just got a little bit of a twist on things, and that's not a bad thing to have. As far as skills on the weapon that work well, I like Piercing Fang, Over Impaling Thrust, it covers a longer distance, it's in my opinion better at roll catching people, it has better timing for that, and I just like it better overall. Other ashes that work well of course would be Warcry at this point. You guys know that if you can stick Warcry on something and that gives it a thrusting attack, that I will do it. I like Warcry, I like Thrusting Attacks, I like the Spear Talisman, and of course it is definitely fair game with this weapon. You can go for that combination, and it works well. Other than that, Barbaric Roar is silly but fun because of all the hyper armor. Spinning Slash is good and sticks with the theme of slashing attacks on a spear, so I kind of like that. Now that said, uh, it is slightly unfortunate because the uh, slashing R2s are actually not unique on this weapon. They are shared with other weapons, being the Spiked Spear and the Death Ritual Spear, actually. So the weapon here, uh, the Partisan, loses a bit of what made it unique in the past. I know that in Dark Souls 2 it also had the same moveset as the uh, Standard Spear, but no one used that because it was just so short in comparison. At least with this one, the Spiked Spear and Death Ritual Spear, uh, they have more reach compared to, uh, well, compared to this, actually. I do believe that they're both at least the same length in the case of the Spiked Spear or slightly longer in the case of the Death Ritual Spear. So, take from that what you will. Now, as far as the cons of the weapon, it's kind of bad compared to a lot of the other spears, to be perfectly honest, and that's a bit of a shame. It's not overly long, the damage isn't super great, it doesn't have a status effect that is included with it, so that's kind of just the way that it is. The moveset's fun, but to be honest, in PvP it's actually not great, and for the, mention for the reasons that I mentioned earlier, I feel like it actually is somewhat harmed by the fact that it doesn't actually have more thrusting attacks. I feel like a regular spear with more thrusting attacks on its R2s 
when standing still or on its running R1, I feel like that would be better in PvP. Having the option to mix up your attacks and having the variety is nice and can come into play, but at the end of the day, if you compare this thing to other spears or even if you compare it outside of its class to other primarily thrusting weapons like the heavy thrusting swords, unfortunately they generally tend to outshine this one, which is a shame because I do enjoy this weapon for the utility side of it that it offers, but unfortunately that's not everything in the game. Damage matters, motion values matter, and moveset matters a lot. And with that, unfortunately the, uh, the partisan seems to come up short for lack of a better way of saying it. But either way, it is what it is. At the end of the day, it's a fun weapon to use, it's got a fun moveset, and it is quite viable regardless. Having a good Ash of War on it can really help with that. Being able to have Hyper Armor with Warcry, for example, and trade hits always works well, no matter what weapon it is you're using it with. So overall, there's a lot of good here, but with the bad, it's just kind of mediocre at best. So, it is what it is. Either way, there are two fights left after this one. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have enjoyed the video, then please do all the YouTube things for me. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you've used this weapon, if you've used spears extensively, what ashes do you like to have on them? Are you like me and like to go for the silly barbaric roar spear bash combo? Or do you prefer something more in line with um, with power stancing and going for your double pokes or something like that? What do, you, what do you guys like to use with your spears? Let me know down in the comments. Either way, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you all again for stopping by, and I'll see you all next time.